Hello and welcome to another of Creative Block's 2 Minute Tool Skills. Today we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the Content Aware Move Tool. Now the Content Aware Move Tool can be found in the Tools panel over here. It works by allowing you to make a selection just by dragging with the tool. So I'm just going to select the Empire State Building here. I'm just making my selection quite loosely. And once I've made my selection, I can drag that object to another position. So I'm just going to try positioning the building over here. And once I release, after a couple of seconds, the tool will fill in the area that we want to remove and replace the area over here with our selected building. And you see it gives us the result that looks something like this. If I just hit Command or Control and D to deselect, you can see how we, we're able to move objects around our image and the tool will attempt to replace the area by analyzing the surrounding pixels and it can do a, a good job it can do a bad job it's a bit hit and miss so if we zoom in a little closer with command or control and plus you can see how the area over here that the tool has attempted to fill in has gone slightly wrong but we could always try just filling that in again with content to wear fill now there are a few options up here that change how the tool behaves. We can set it to move or extend. I'll show you how extend works in a second. We can also choose different adaptation settings to change how strictly the tool preserves your original image pixels. And because the tool is quite here to miss, it's worth experimenting with these different adaptation settings. At the moment I've got it set to medium. We also have this option to sample all layers. And if I just bring up my layers panel, I'll show you how it can often be better to use the content aware move tool on a separate layer so I'm just going to hit command and control alt and z a couple of times to undo that previous move and this time I'm going to create a new layer and you can see because I have sample all layers checked I can move the building to a different position and the change occurs on my separate layer so I still have all of the original image data available to me underneath on the background layer so that's quite useful for non-destructive editing. Now let's just zoom in a little closer to this building here and I'll just show you how we can use the extend mode to extend the building. So I'm just going to make a new selection around this area here. And this time I'm going to change the adaptation settings to strict and also change the mode to extend. And then you can see how I can drag the building upwards to extend it. So we can even make our building taller so there we go, that's how you can use the Content Aware Move tool in Photoshop CS6 to move and extend objects in your images.